Well, we're joined now by the National Chairman of the Union of Pensioners, Contributory Pension Schemes uh, Sector, Silva Waiwa. Uh, I hope I got that right. Uh, good to see you. Uh, that report, well, it's been a night, uh, you know, uh, from the petroleum gas flaring to this. Uh, you yeah. know, sometimes you get to the point, it breaks your heart. Mm -hmm. What truly is going on? Yes, my brother. What is going on is total neglect of retirees under the contributory pension scheme. The contributory pension scheme was introduced into the, in the country in 2004 as a reform initiative. And every reform is expected to be better than whatever it is being reformed from. Before the CPS, we had the defined benefit scheme. Defined benefit scheme did not attract any contribution by the employee. The employer pays you as you retire. But this time, as the population of uh, government employees started to increase, and government couldn't meet up with that responsibility or liability of paying all retirees. An agreement was reached that there should be a new pension reform. Some people were sent to Chile where they got this idea from, and they came back, negotiated with Nigerian workers as represented by their different trade unions. And what I'm telling you included both the military, whatever. Mm. Because <coughs> we could see that the Nigerian government can no longer meet its obligation of paying all pensioners because of, uh, uh, would I say, lack of funding. And we all knew what happened, those of us who were there. In 2002, 2003, 2001 or 2002, there about, when uh, soldiers from the, Nigerian, from the Nigerian army took over the streets of Abuja in demand for their non-payment of uh, pension increment, uh, pension area, uh, pensions, mm -hmm. rather. This so are, are, are you saying that 20 years, sorry I have to put okay. it here because of time, are you saying that 20 years after the contributory pension scheme to a very large extent has failed? Yeah, I will say it has failed and it has failed to a very large extent because of the misunderstanding of the federal government of the very scheme it introduced. I don't know. I will say maybe because of lack of continuity. Most of them don't even understand what they are talking about. And I will give you an example. Great. When we, well, this union, Nigerian Union of Pensioners Contributory Pension Scheme Sector, NUPCPS, came on board in 2017. Mm. And the, the CPS was introduced in 2004. When we first went to the House of Representatives, that was in the days of uh, uh, Honorable Yakub Dogara as the speaker. Mm -hmm. The first thing he said was that he's not sure that Mr. President is aware of our plights. You can imagine that. So is it possible that the pension managers are the problem? It cannot be uh, the pension manager. If you, if you, we've the stories like, you know, they are diverting you know, some of the funds that are supposed to come to pensioners? Uh, the pension managers, if the pension managers we are talking about encompasses all the critical stakeholders in the in Nigerian pension industry, I will say yes. For instance, the Office of Accountant General of the Federation has continued to tell us there's no funds to pay retirees under the CPS, whereas that same office had continued to pay 
other categories of uh, 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 public service pensioners to date. So you can see that there is a sabotage. So who are, the, who are those uh, being owed now? Since you say, for instance, the military and other, you know, sector of a national life, uh, the retirees are being paid, but uh, you have been singled out. Yes. Uh, when, when the CPA started, it included all Nigerian workers. That was the agreement. Right. And that continued to 2014. When the 2004 Pension Reform Act was you know, amended, mm -hmm. and we, what we witness is that the 2014 Pension Reform Act exempted the military, the DSS, from the CPS, which was not the original agreement between Nigeria and its employees. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So now, those ones who were exempted, we are now returned to the same old pension regime. That's a DBS. With the DBS. So now, the focus of government is to pay those under the DBS, while it's, uh, excluding those of us who have sacrificed everything just to help the Nigerian government to... You know, so you think the pension yeah. system or scheme is discriminatory? Uh, very, to, very to discriminatory. Sort of, yeah. So what are, are you? What are your demands now? What are you asking government to, to do immediately? To, Thank you. To, yeah. Um, just because we are senior citizens and patriotic Nigerians, yeah. what we are asking the Nigerian government to do is to go back. To the constitution of, the, of Nigeria. Section 1733 mm. provides that we are entitled to pension reviews or increments. And the uh, section 154 of the Pension Reform Act alludes to that. Okay? But till now, the federal government has been flouting that. But our surprise is this because I, we, I was among the people from the Nigerian Union of Pensioners that met the immediate past president, uh, Muhammad Buhari, mm -hmm. and we presented the matter to him, and he started doing things. But we discovered that the problem is not only that of the federal government of Nigeria. It appeared right. that some public servants are sabotaging it. Uh, well, we'll have to live with that. Thankfully, you've put, made your case, and uh, hopefully, um, right authorities will see to your plight. Okay. Uh, Silva Nguyewa is national chairman, Nigeria Union of Pensioners Contributory Pension Scheme Sector. Thank you very much uh, for joining us.